Hello, 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 my Saturday morning coffee people. It's been a long time. I am back. It was tough to try to get back to Saturday morning coffee, but I'm back. I'm here. And the coffee is good. Yes. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> I, if you can't beat them, join them, right? I bought these Halloween coffee mugs in the beginning of August. I, I know. <laughs> but I'm back, and it's so good to be back here with you. I want to give a shout out to Lori. Gave me just a little bit of a gentle nudge to um, get me back here, uh, where I really love being here and talking with you guys. So thank you, Lori. This is for you. Thank you. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> mm. So I am trying to be uh, eat more plant-based. That being said, I still have a lot of uh, chicken, salmon, cod in the freezer. Uh, I, think, I don't think I'm ever going to really give up fish, but I don't eat fish that often. I should. Um, but I'm finishing that up, but I'm mainly 80% plant-based. I always have been, uh, but I did get a bunch of beyond meat <laughs> and it's not that bad. Um, I don't plan on eating it every day, but I splurged and I got, I got an Instapot and, um, uh, I've been binging plant-based, um, Instapot recipe channels and things like that. So, um, I'm doing it to be healthy and, um, you know, there's, there, I did buy some vegan hot dogs and, I bit into that one and I spit it out and I took all the other ones that were in the freezer and threw them out. So it's, you know, uh, live and learn, trying to figure out what I like, what I don't like. But I really don't want to do um, processed plant-based foods as well. Just mainly fruits and vegetables, leafy greens, salads, stuff like that. So I'm doing that to be healthy because I am going to milk this retirement for all it's worth. I want to live to be a hundred or more. <laughs> and you know, um, I want, I, I'm trying to make myself healthy, uh, in, in my, my body and spirit. And you know, I just love my simple life. No complications, no plans. I'm not lonely one bit, not one bit. I prefer solitude. But you know, uh, because no plans equals no expectations and, and, and no disappointments. <laughs> and I, I love my simple life, and, but once in a while I would like someone to visit. <laughs> but I sure as hell I'm not going to beg people. And I stopped there a while ago. Uh, I'm not going to beg people. I'm not going to chase people. I'm not going to reach out anymore. I've done that. And, um, God, memories come up in my Facebook of me begging people to come over. Okay, I might post something that says having coffee on the porch. Join me. In my mind, that is begging. <laughs> but still, the disappointment when no one ever comes over. So I was like, you know what? No one visits me in New York. I might as well enjoy myself in sunny Florida by myself when where no one visits anyways. And I think I subconsciously came here so I don't have to make plans with people and things. But, um, um, uh, you know, what is that one quote? I have it in, in a frame right over here. It says, don't break your own heart by exaggerating your place in other people's lives. And I, uh, <laughs> I do that to save my heart. It's nothing to do with other people. I do it to save my own heart. The disappointment is painful. It's painful being forgotten. <laughs> So I do that for me. I, I do that so that I don't feel the pain. I'm a baby. I avoid pain like the plague. So um, uh, that's enough. Oh my God, that's enough of this therapy session. Therapy session is over. <laughs> Let's have another sip of coffee. And let's get into some fun stuff. Jesus, sin. Mmm. So, um, this might be a little long because I have a lot of stuff to talk about. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, let me have another sip of coffee here. Mmm. So, um, here, I'll let you, I'll let you go, boo boo. There you go, boo boo. I love this dress. Got pockets. So, <laughs> I am going to the Florida Watercolor Society Convention in St. Pete 
I went down a rabbit hole yesterday, I'm telling you. Um, I, so, you know, I, um, if you go and watch, I just did a video on how to get the best viewing of YouTube. For, mainly it might be for beginners and stuff like that, but there's, you know, certain things um, to get the better, the best viewing of YouTube. So, um, go find that video. Plus I have not stopped doing art videos. So there's, I still have a ton of art videos out there. Please watch those. Um, a lot of swatching and stuff like that. And that kind of, I'll bring all this full kind of for a circle. So because I tweak my YouTube, I always get suggestions on new stuff, uh, based on what I've watched already. So this new Fantastic artist Matthew Bird showed up in my YouTube suggestions. Well, God, is his stuff good. I mean, awesome. Look at his classes online. Um, he is uh, he is really, really good. So I was I went uh, online and I, I was looking at his, his workshops and things like that. Then I saw in-person classes, um, you know, because you get the dot card. <laughs> I want to I want to collect dot cards, but um. That's my new thing too. So, um, he, cause he's a D Daniel Smith ambassador, more on that in, in a few minutes, but well, he's going to be in Orlando in September, 2025, <laughs> but he's going to be in Orlando per the Florida watercolor society. So I looked on their website to see if I can maybe buy a ticket <laughs> well in advance over here in advance. Cause I, I, I have learned, you know, like camping and stuff like that. You have to get your reservations well in advance. So I thought, so I see that there's a convention on their water, a Florida Watercolor Society page. I see that there is a convention in St. Pete in September this year. <laughs> I'm like, I have to go. There's going to be vendors and stuff like that. So I got a ticket for that. That's like a three day event. I can't wait. So of course, um, I had to look for artsy outfits to wear as well. <laughs> this is one of them. I found this at Old Navy. It's got pockets. I just love it. I, want, I should wear more stuff like this because the clothes that I've been wearing have been, I, I call them my Florida casual. <laughs> Florida cash. <laughs> I don't want to look like a hobo. <laughs> So I'm excited about going to the Florida Watercolor Society convention. Oh, that's going to be so much. Maybe I'll make um, friends that I won't invite over. <laughs> oh, I kill myself. So um, this all started to uh, when I found Ashley Hawks on another one of my YouTube suggestions. And if you see all my vid my my recent videos, you see how she introduced me to the world of Daniel Smith. I went and got a, a ton of Daniel Smith watercolors. Um, uh, I uh, am so impressed with the Daniel Smith watercolors. I love them so much. Um, please watch all my other um, videos. I did some swatching and stuff like that. But because of her, um, she has introduced me to Dot Cards and Daniel Smith. And now, then I've been I've been following Daniel Smith and it's, um, and they have uh, videos at least twice a week as well. Is it John Cogley? I believe with the owner of Daniel Smith he has videos like twice a week uh, of all these fantastic artists. Uh, because of that, I found um, uh, Watercolor Pours. Uh, she's another uh, channel that I love to watch because then I started getting into the, not just swatching, um, but um, color mixing as well. So. Um, it just, uh, it's just, just been like a, a whole new world for me. Um, I, and I really believe that, um, I found so many other, uh, Daniel Smith ambassadors and their YouTube channels. And, uh, like I said, in some of my videos, when you are ready, the teacher will come. I totally, uh, it's a spiritual saying, but I wholeheartedly believe in it. I also believe that the higher your personal vi vibration, the best you manifest what is best for you. Um, so, and I believe that's why all these suggestions are coming to me. I really, uh, I, I believe, you know, God puts these things in front of us that are good for us and things like that. But can I, can I tell you a funny manifestation story? <laughs> 
I might have told this years ago, but well, let's, let me have a cup of coffee. So back in the day, I'm going to say this was like 2003, four ish. Uh, me and one of my friends, we would do, uh, is it full moon or new moon manifestations? So we would do the manifestations. I mean, the whole thing with the candles and all this stuff. And I would always, and every month, I would always want to manifest, man, I was in love with this man named Jeffrey. And I always manifested, I wanted to live with Jeffrey and I wanted to um, say good night, I love you, Jeffrey, every night. <laughs> well, God always gives you what's for your highest good. And I ended up getting... Oh, I gotta go get his picture. I ended up getting a dog named Jeffrey. <laughs> and for over 15 years, I would I would lay down in bed and I would say, good night, Jeffrey, I love you. <laughs> God always gives you what you do. What's the highest good for you? <laughs> so I did manifest a Jeffrey. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of the spiritual stuff. <laughs> um, let's see, what am I going to do? Um, oh my goodness, this is enough of the spiritual stuff. What happened to my Saturday morning coffees, huh? Oh, I, but I have been um, just doing a lot of art. Well, there's, I did do a bunch of videos and stuff like that. Um, uh, the things I'm going to do next week. I can't believe Labor Day weekend is, is it next week? Next weekend? What happened this the summer? It went it went so fast, but I'm not dismayed because I am in Florida. If I was in Western New York, I'd be all upset. <laughs> but it's summer every day here. <laughs> so I did join Hallmark Plus because of Alacy Shabir, my favorite actor. She's gonna have a new show on there. Um, I mean, I still have all the other three Hallmark channels. Those are just regular Hallmark channels. This is a special channel. Um, that you pay for. All the other ones are included in um, my Fernley. But this was one you pay for. And I already paid for the full year, so um, just because just I love Lacey, I'll pay for anything for her. So <laughs> I'd love to see her in person. Um, so the, I did do that for the Hallmark Plus. Um, Our Soul Gathering is a free online workshop, and it starts Thursday, the 29th. And I'm pretty sure you could still sign up. Please, please go sign up. It's free classes, free art classes. And that's how I that's how I um, find other teachers and things like that. So um, go, go sign up. Art Soul Gathering. Um, Mercury goes on retro on the 28th. Thank goodness. Only Murders in the Building starts on the 27th. Can't wait. Love Selena as well. Um, I'm going to do lots more Instant Pot recipes and plant-based recipes next week. Um, oh, another thing I did. <laughs> I'm going to try to do more hikes. Uh, as soon as it, it's been really, it's been kind of cool, just a teeny, teeny bit cooler here lately, in the mornings especially, so um, maybe I'll be able to do some more, some hikes. But you know what I did? Because we, um, I take him and we get in the car and I walk him because there's, and I try walking him around here. He, he just won't have it. So it's like a one, two minute drive to like three different parks near me. So we go to this one park and it's a pond and you walk or we walk. He makes it around the pond once, but I, I need more walking. So I got one of those doggy front packs. It's like a bad, bad. You can wear it either way, but I put him in front. And I go around that pond two more times. <laughs> so I really got it so that, because I want to do um, hiking. And um, I, I would, maybe I could, and I don't mean really major hiking in the mountain type of hiking, but more um, walking hikes. And I could, I put it in the front pack with me, you know. So we'll see how that goes. Because I got the state park pass. And as soon as it cools down, I'm going to do some, I really should go and I'm just going to find out whatever state parks have an opening for camping and just see if I could just grab a spot because it's, it's 
early. It's, I didn't do it. We can do it early, but we'll see if I like places and then I'll know next year to book these places in advance, but I can scope places out and stuff like that. Let's not be picky because I used to be really picky. Oh, I gotta be on the water. I gotta do this. I gotta, I'm on the water every day. So <laughs> just like, it's, like I said, just see what's open. Maybe there's a reason I need to be in that camping spot. <laughs> But I, when I'm camping, I would like to, you know, he'll walk, I'll walk him, but he's not, he's only good for like 10 minutes. I want to keep walking. So that's why I got the doggy pair. So <laughs> that will be interesting. I actually, I'll put some pictures at the end of this of, of him and the doggy pair. <laughs> it's so, he's so cute. So your uh, retro reference for today is, uh, Clint Eastwood, you know how we love Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry, all that stuff. Clint Eastwood is 94 years old. 94. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. Uh, I just, I just can't. <laughs> and things I Googled this week. Getting rid of the mothball smell. Mothball smell. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> So, watching TV a while ago, and I'm looking, and there's this lizard crawling across my wall close to the ceiling. I'm like, what? And then he kind of like disappeared. Oh, God, that's all I need. And he was, he was not a little one. He was about two inches, at least. Didn't see him for a while. Um, and then, um, maybe a week later i went in the kitchen for something at night turned on flicked on the light and there's lenny of course he's got a name now lenny zips under the stove i'm like <laughs> there were two other lizards in here that i gr i got with the dust pan and got them out because they were kind of small but um so of course i googled online um and they, there's one of the suggestions was mothballs will keep critters away. <laughs> well, ordered mothballs online, right? I took a box and a half of mothballs. I threw a bunch under the stove, under the refrigerator, under the washer and dryer, um, and a, a cup, even into the cupboards, a couple places all around. Um, I think I overdid it with the mothballs. This place reeked of mothballs. I mean, it was so bad. You could, it, I, I think I had a four day headache from it, but of course I put them in places that I couldn't get them back out. <laughs> oh my God. I'm talking, I did kind of maneuver oh, uh, and got some of them out, but not all of them. I'm like, so I Googled how long does it take for them to dissipate? Sometimes a year. <laughs> Sometimes I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm bad for my own good. <laughs> so here I am in mothball heaven. Um, oh, another thing I googled was the State Fair movie versions, because um, like one of the Facebook pages I follow is uh, like the old black and white movies. I think it's TCM uh, Facebook page, and they always bring up all you know kinds of stuff. And they were uh, one of my favorite movies is the state fair and i think it was the the middle one because there's a super super old one and then there's the middle one and then there's one with pat boone there is a state fair one with um elvis presley but it's not the same but it's the middle one it's a grand night for da, 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 da. <laughs> think i am falling in love Oh, I love that movie. I'm gonna have to find it and watch it this weekend. So um, I did watch it just recently, like within the last couple of years, I did. Um, but I love that uh, when they do, what is it, that pickle relish or whatever, they keep putting rum in it and all that stuff. But I just, oh, I love the State Fair movie. I did not, I was not able to go to the Erie, Erie County Fair this year. I used to go every year, but I am going to the State Fair next year. The Florida State Fair. I am going. <laughs> I love state fairs, so that'll be fun. That will be fun. So those are the things that I googled. So um, 
Uh, what am I going to do? Oh, I already talked about what I'm going to do next week. Oh, 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 I I guess this is it. See, now that I'm on here, I could have talked to you guys forever. <laughs> uh, yesterday, it was thunder and lightning in the morning with my coffee, and it was wonderful. And then it was rainy all day. It looks like it might be. I don't know what the weather's going to be today. But uh, somebody wants to do a W-A-L-K, so we need to go. So he can go around once, and I can go around three times. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back here with you guys. Um, thank you for being patient with me. Um, it's, been, it's, it's really hard with someone that you love so dearly. A friend that you have loved so dearly is gone. And I'm, so I'm telling you now... Um, Enjoy your friends. Don't move away from them. <laughs> and if they live in Florida, go visit them. I think they might like that. Just show up in front of their door. They'll love it. I guarantee it. <laughs> I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Pretty bird. What kind of bird are you with the beautiful colors? Turquoise, dark Haynes gray turquoise. See ya. Get a close up of you. But we're on the iPad. I had my phone, but I didn't want to scare you. Isn't she? Isn't that birdie pretty? Oh, it's tight for you. Come on.